Today we will show you how to use the quick stitching feature Autel Stitch 2.5D. This feature needs to be used with Autel Mapper. Flight Mission Creation Go to the Autel Enterprise app on your RC and create a mission. Click Polygon here. And then tap on the map where you want to fly to. A mission route is automatically generated. We can adjust the polygon area by dragging the vertexes. After that, modify the flight altitude. To ensure safety, the drone must fly higher than the surroundings. Then modify the flight speed. The maximum is 10 meters per second. After that, click Advanced to configure other settings. Both the front and side overlaps default to 70%. We can change the front overlap to 80% or higher. As we can see, the mission data that we have set is shown at the bottom of the map. Click Save. The mission is now created. RC and Autel Mapper Connection. First of all, we need to ensure that the RC and the computer where Autel Mapper is installed share the same network to display map streams. Let's select the same Wi-Fi for the RC and computer. On Autel Mapper, move the mouse to the profile icon, and we can obtain the IP address of the computer. Go back to the RC and click the Stitch button. Click Add to enter the page for server connection. Enter the IP address we obtained earlier, and click Add. Now the RC is connected to the computer. Quick Stitching Mission After the RC is connected to the computer, a quick stitching request will be displayed on Autel Mapper. If you do not change the settings in 10 seconds, a quick stitching mission is automatically created. The creation will direct us to the Mission Details page. The flight mission information set earlier is displayed at the bottom of the map. The first parameter from the right indicates the number of images received out of the total number of images taken. Go back to the RC and click the flight button on the left. On the pre-flight check page, confirm the flight mission information and slide the slider to initiate flight. Then, the drone will take off and fly from point H to point S, and will keep taking photos during flight. We can see how many photos have been uploaded in the upper left corner of the RC map screen. The drone's flight path is also shown on the stitching mission details page on Autel Mapper. The number of images received and the total images captured are changing here. The photos stitched can be shown on both the RC and Autel Mapper in real time. When the drone arrives at point E, the flight mission is complete. At this time, the drone will fly back to point H from point E. When all the images have been uploaded to Autel Mapper, we can click the same stitch button on the RC to end quick stitching. Upon receiving the request, Autel Mapper will enter the post processing stage, and the progress is displayed at the top. When the post processing is complete, we can view the DOM results post stitching application to view the results elevation information we can expand the layer tree on the left here and we can adjust the slider at the bottom to view data at different heights if we click the 3d button the 2.5d results will be displayed again the bottom slider bar can also be adjusted to display elevation data. Annotations and measurement is another important application of quick stitching. By using the point or line or area or volume tools in the upper left corner of the screen, we can make annotations, measure distances, and calculate the size of areas and volumes quickly. For example, click the point icon and tap anywhere we want on the map to mark a point. As for line, click any two points on the map, and right-click to finish. See? The length of the line is measured immediately. To measure areas, 
click any three or more points on the map, and right-click to finish. Measuring volumes is quite similar. Click any three or more points on the map, and right-click to finish. After an area is drawn, set the reference surface on the right, and click Calculate Volume. Then, the cut and fill volumes will be calculated. We can switch to the Quality Report page to check the general information about this stitching mission, such as the start time and GSD. The reports can be exported locally, and more details are available, mainly about the stitching results. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.